The JED Jaw Elevation Device is a new hands-free solution for sedation cases. The device assists the provider in maintaining an open airway during any procedure in which the patient is sedated and the airway may become obstructed. The JED performs jaw thrust, eliminating the need for the clinician to manually maintain jaw thrust during the procedure. The JED Jaw Elevation Device is an externally applied, non-invasive device that contains no metal and is MRI compatible. The hand support comfortably secures the patient's head in a forward position. The memory foam is designed for the highest level of patient comfort. A three-way adjustable apparatus allows you to position and hold the patient in a comfortable sniffing or jaw thrust position. Disposable foam mandible cups are positioned at the angle of the patient's mandible, allowing manipulation of the jaw during the procedure. The soft foam material is designed to cushion the mandible, dissipating pressure on the patient for the duration of the procedure. Optimal placement of the JED is accomplished by positioning the patient's head on the head support. Next, adjust the vertical support arms so that the center of the mandible cup cradles the angle of the mandible, while rotating the head back and advancing the mandible. Center the patient's head on top of the JED head support, aligning the patient's lips with the positioning line. Place the disposable mandible cups, marked green for right and red for left, into the reusable vertical support arms, also marked green for right and red for left. Slide both vertical support arms with disposable mandible cups partway into the base of the head support. Simultaneously, press and hold the button on top of each of the rotating knobs to slide the vertical support arms down to their lowest position and then turn the rotating knobs forward so that the mandible cups are in the most forward position. After administering sedation, place the patient's head in a proper sniffing position and verify adequate air exchange via chest excursion and or expired CO2 waveform. Use the left hand to hold the head position constant, then use the right hand to palpate the angle of the mandible on the right. Next. Slide the vertical support arm inward toward the patient's jaw until the mandible cup is posterior to the angle of the mandible. Then lift the arm up and rotate back until the mandible cup firmly cradles the angle of the mandible. While maintaining the proper sniffing position, switch hands so that the right hand is now holding the head position constant. Use the left hand to palpate the angle of the mandible on the left. Next. Slide the vertical support arm inward towards the patient's jaw until the mandible cup is posterior to the angle of the mandible. Then lift the arm up and rotate back until the mandible cup firmly cradles the angle of the mandible. Using both hands, turn the left and right rotating knobs backwards simultaneously so that the mandible cups tilt the patient's head back and the airway is open as evident by chest excursion and or expired CO2 waveform. To maximally open the airway and dissipate pressure on the mandible, the center of the mandible cups should be against the angle of the mandible. If necessary, adjust the position of the head support or vertical support arms so the mandible cups cradle the angle of the mandibles and the airway is open, as evident by chest excursion, expired CO2 waveform, and absence of stridor or snoring. To remove the arms, squeeze the two buttons at the bottom of the vertical support arms and pull outward to remove them from the head support. Remove and discard the disposable mandible cups. The JED can be used in a variety of applications where a patient has an open airway and the potential to obstruct during a procedure. The JED creates the ideal solution for hands-free airway management. The JED Jaw Elevation Device